Hey there, it's the Mad Artist, and today I have another mad story for you. The story of Pythagoras and the Cult of Numbers. If you enjoy, please remember to leave a like and subscribe, and let me know if you have other mad stories you'd like to see in the future. Okay, so you probably think of math as being super dull and boring, and not related to religion or a cult, but in ancient Greece, things were a bit different. Meet Pythagoras. He was a Greek philosopher and mathematician, and the founder of Pythagoreanism. And if this sounds like the name of a religion, it's because it is. The central belief was that Pythagoras himself was divinely ordained, which meant that every word he spoke was perfect and inerrant, so everything was preserved and followed to the letter, just like a cult. More importantly, his followers decided that further mathematical and scientific discoveries were not possible. Basically, they thought that Pythagoras revealed all that mankind would ever know or discover, which, as we know today, was 100% true. The cult eventually split between two groups of followers, and the names of both are too much for me to not screw up pronouncing, so I'm just going to put them on screen here. This group were fundamentalists and didn't want any progress in science or math, whereas this group continued to progress intellectually, and the two were constantly at odds. They also had many rituals, believed in reincarnation, and were very strict and austere. They also believed that three was the ultimate number that represented perfection in the universe. Pythagoras was once quoted as saying that happiness consists in knowledge of the perfection of the numbers of the soul. Pythagoras himself was obsessed with measuring things and was the first known person in history to try and objectively measure and explain music. The discoveries he made are still used in music theory today. But things went a little far, as Pythagoreans became obsessed with music, and even used it as a form of medicine, because they thought that the entire universe was sustained by music and harmony. And as you'd expect, because it's a cult, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, and things got kinda weird. Pythagoras taught that everything in the universe could be expressed as a rational number, and that nothing else existed. And because he was considered a divine being, anyone who questioned this was... problematic. Well, this came to a head because one day, one of Pythagoras' followers, Hippasus, was performing some religious rituals, which for Pythagoreans meant doing math and counting things. And during this time, Hippasus discovered a number that could not be expressed as a fraction. This special number is well known today and is called the Golden Ratio. It's a very important number for many reasons. Pythagoras was so incensed that someone found something which questioned his divine word that he straight up murdered Hippasus by drowning him. After murdering Hippasus, Pythagoras then swore his followers to secrecy, telling them to never reveal that someone discovered a number which contradicted his divine revelations. And after seeing him violently murder another student, you bet they stayed quiet. Later in life, Pythagoras was the first known person to claim that the Earth was not the center of the universe, and pretty much just disagreed with the entire geocentric model. However, giving him credit for this is erroneous, as it wasn't for any scientific reason he preached this to his followers. Instead, he was just guessing and basing this on his interpretation of how he thought the universe worked and philosophy and harmony and all that kind of stuff. Other guesses that Pythagoras made were complete nonsense. He claimed, among other things, that there was a mirror Earth that hid behind the sun. Because as he said, the Earth was stationary and did not move, as did its sister planet, which constantly hid behind the sun. He also claimed that all stars must produce their own songs, or at the very least sounds, because they were huge moving objects. So yeah, when you think of math, you tend not to think of a crazy religious cult, but never forget about Pythagoras. While he did make a number of contributions to math and science, things that we even still use today, he also made a lot of incorrect assumptions about the universe and, oh yeah, he murdered someone, so let's not forget that. 
It should be noted that some historians dispute whether he really did murder someone, but there's enough evidence for it that I think it really happened. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I just thought this was crazy. Like, can you imagine if this existed today? Just a cult of people around a scientist. It's just crazy to me. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to share. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. It really helps out my channel. I've been the Mad Artist, and I hope you have a great day.